Hi, I'm Rich Nass, and I'm the director of content for eTimes. And I'm here at Text Instruments with Rich Templeton, the CEO of Text Instruments. Rich will be one of the keynote addressers at, at ESC this year at the end of April. It's uh, April 28th at 9.30 in the morning. So you certainly want to see that. But anyway, Rich, I'd like to talk a little bit about your keynote. Um, we often talk about how embedded developers really have the, the power to change the world. Um, do you agree with that? And is, 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 is that something that they really have the power to do? And how can they do that? Uh, you know, Rich, I think it's uh, in some ways why we're as fascinated with our focus on embedded uh, systems. Uh, look at the things folks are working on today from uh, smart metering that is uh, going to help change the way electricity is delivered, more efficiently used to embedded medical products, uh, embedded security or video products. Uh, embedded systems literally are working on some of the biggest and most important problems facing the world. So I think it's a great place for, uh, for engineers and computer scientists to be. Now you seem to have re-architected text instruments into an analog and embedded processing company. Is that for the, for the same trends that we're seeing that everything really is embedded today? Yeah, we, we haven't kind of re-architected, we have. <laughs> okay. And it really is a very conscious thought of when we look at uh, our customers, uh, this is an opportunity to solve more of their problem. Uh, pick up any circuit board and the types of problems that you know, they're trying to solve on a circuit board is everything from bringing signals in, then uh, manipulating them or processing them, uh, reformatting them, putting them back out. It's about analog components. It's about different speed and different capability processors. And we want to be the ones that can best help our customers solve that problem. Now, you mentioned two hot buttons for us a second ago security and medical. What are the trends you're seeing in, in those two places? Well, you know, if you look in, uh, in many ways on the medical front, uh, it's in some ways uh, what we've watched through 30 years of the computer industry or uh, through the cell phone industry. Uh, so you can take imaging technologies like uh, ultrasound and, you know, years ago this was a rack of equipment. Customers have now got these down to a notebook or a laptop sized device and you see early samples of handheld ultrasounds now coming out and you're now putting an imaging product in the hands of a first line responder. Mm -hmm. And so we just, we love powerful trends like that because it's what we're good at and we can help our customers evolve along those lines. You know, I think security, pretty broad range of topic in that uh, it's everything from uh, video analytics and how do you help uh, people recognize or find threats or prevent them uh, to particle sensing or scanning uh, all the way in the automotive field where uh, governments want to reduce, uh, reduce deaths per million miles traveled. So it's forward-looking radar, it's blind spot detection, mm -hmm. uh, all these types of capabilities. If you want to solve those problems, you've got to get more embedded electronics and systems to be able to do it. Now the person giving the keynote on the first day is Dr. Kaku. He's a, uh, a physicist and he's, he's pretty out there. And I think he'll have a really, a really nice balance with you not being so far out there. Do um, you think that that's a good mix for, 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 for where we see embedded going? I'll be careful about where I am on the out there or not out there part. I think your first day uh, speaker, uh, the doctor's going to be wonderful. I think it really, uh, that ability to imagine and dream Okay, I still think is why a lot of people get into this business, chose engineering, and really want to have the impact. So I think it's a great way to start things off. I agree. Thank you very much. Great. Rich, thanks.